Hello, budget retro gamers, Raspberry Pires, or people who just have a really hard time getting SD cards in your country. I understand that, you know, here in the U.S., it's extremely easy to get SD cards. And maybe where you are, it's a little more difficult. And the ways you have to acquire them are different. But I wanted to make this video because it, recently I actually got a few emails from people saying, you know, oh, my image didn't work and this didn't boot up. And I'm like, it's probably, you know, your SD card. Where did you get it? And usually they're like from eBay. And so that's usually my first sign of, okay, they got ripped off, they got a fake SD card. And so if I feel like this is becoming more and more common, so I want to make this video just shed some light on the situation. So first off, let's start with looking at a fake and a real Samsung Evo SD card. As far as what SD cards are good for the Raspberry Pi, I'll put some links in the description, but the Samsung Evo Pluses are good, the SanDisk uh, are really good, the uh, Patriot, the PNY Elite Series, the higher end PNY, Lectar, these are all good brands, and I'll have links to those in the description. But here we have two. On the left side, what you'll notice is that it's almost like an ink, the printer is running out of ink. Have you ever had a printer that started running out of ink? It starts to kind of smear a little bit, and it's not very crisp, and the lines aren't perfect. Well, if you see on the left there, that's what kind of happened on this. So the print quality is not so good uh, on it, and, then it's, and the Samsung logo isn't as clear. Um, it just looks not as good. The other thing you might notice is at the top of the left one, it's all black. And typically on the Samsung, they're white around the edges. Now, this isn't true for the other brands because SanDisk, for example, I have a SanDisk right here, and it's all black around the edges. And I know this is a legitimate San, uh, SanDisk. So, but for Evos, it, it should be white all the way around. But the giveaway should have been the printing. You can also check the barcode. There's also where it was made. Some should say Philippines, not China, not Korea. But it also depends on where you're buying them from as well. Each country is a little different. But I wanted, I think really, instead of all these little tweaking and, oh, I gotta check this and check that, I think it all starts with you going to buy an SD card. Now, I wanna start off with the best way, the best thing to do is just go to Amazon. If you have Amazon in your country, go there. You can't go wrong, especially if you're ordering Prime. So as you can see here, I bought my SanDisk Ultra 128. Make sure you get a Class 10, and make sure you're getting an Ultra or a Plus. You don't need to go to the extreme. They make like extreme SD cards. You're not gonna find much of a performance difference there, but definitely get the Ultras. There's a significant uh, savings in boot time with the um, Ultra. For example, I have this G-Skill that I ordered from Newegg, I ordered a bunch of these for my GoPro and some other things. And so when I, was, when I have all these images, I, I sometimes take my camera SD cards and put an image on it. So I put an image on this one. And there was a significant slowdown. Like it would take me probably two to three times longer to boot up emulation station. And then when it comes time to choosing a game and then getting into the game, that process was also about twice as long, which isn't a huge deal. As long as it's a class 10, it should be fine. But not all class 10s are created equal. Make sure you are at least getting class 10. But this one, for example, if you scroll down, it's only claiming read speeds of 30 megabytes per second. And the other thing is write speeds. If you're writing a 128 gigabyte image, you want a fast write speed. Otherwise, that could take you days. So you want good, re write speeds are good for when you're putting the image from your computer to your SD card. And the read speeds are really good when you're actually using the Pi. So back on the Sandus Ultra, which I like, you can see down below here, when you look at the, I think they advertise the speeds, or here's, here's the same one, uh, max read speeds up to 90 megabytes. And you're not gonna always get 90, but you're gonna get a lot more than maximum of a 30. And there is a significant boot time uh, in that. Another quick uh, question that I get a lot is, you know, what's the biggest SD card the Raspberry Pi 3 can take? Um, I've personally done it up to 200 gigabytes. I have one of these right here, the Santa's Ultra 200 gig, and it boots just fine. I'm sure a 256 would be fine as well. I don't know why you would go any higher than that because look how the price jumped. I mean, from 200 gigs to 256, the prices start jumping. At that point, you might want to look into getting a hard drive and using the micro SD and a hard drive or primarily just a hard drive. Hard drives are pretty quick as well. One last thing about Amazon I did want to cover was make sure you're buying Prime. You can go down here on the lower right hand side. Now, this one doesn't have it, but this one right here does. If you scroll down, it says uh, 14 new and used. If you're going to be buying used, there is a chance you can get ripped off here because they're not claiming it's a brand new in the package. 
So their ability to maybe like slip one in, give you a fake one is going to be increased. There is that possibility. Now, to me, I think Amazon's a little better than eBay because their return policies are a little bit better and you can actually talk to somebody and you can get things resolved much quicker. There's been multiple times where I've been ripped off on eBay and I never got my money back and there was no resolution and it was horrible. It was an awful experience. So uh, just be careful that you are buying Amazon Prime. If you are going to be buying used on Amazon, you do run the risk of still acquiring a fake SD card. Another option really quick is just go to your local electronics store. I have Fry's Electronics, Best Buy. Uh, you're going to spend a little bit more dollars, but you have that return policy, that ease of mind. Uh, furthermore, I really think that you should really invest in these, these SD cards because these are kind of the guts of your Raspberry Pi. Don't cheap on this, on this part. The reason I started this movie out saying budget retro pliers is because I know that the reason why, you pe why people are getting ripped off is they're trying to save a couple of dollars. And I'm just telling you, like, this is not where you skimp. Don't skimp here. If you want to skimp, skimp on your controllers. Like, you can save some money on the controllers and still get a decent controller. But when, you, when, you're, when you're, you're talking five, ten dollar differences sometimes, and trust me, the headache and the long shipping times is not worth the headache. So go class 10, get a name brand, buy from a, a, a buyer that you trust. I'll put some links in the description if you want some examples of that. Now, the fun part, going on eBay and looking at uh, bad deals. So um, this first one is, uh, this is 128 gigabyte SDXC Evo Class 10 uh, TF memory card Galaxy hashtag Z1 for, the, for, the, um, for that phone model. Now, here's why this isn't good. This guy has zero feedback. He's never sold a single item. And if he has sold an item, he has, oh, look, he has 50% feedback. Does that mean he already has that? Let's check that out. Um, the other thing is coming from China, Hong Kong. And look at this delivery window. It's going to take forever. And it's going to be really hard to resolve anything uh, with this person. So be really careful about that. Oh, he has two negatives, two positives. But I guess, oh, from two years ago. But his negatives are counterfeit coins don't buy from him. So this guy already has a history of selling counterfeit things. Click on people's feedback and see what it says. That's a total giveaway almost immediately. Here's another one I found. Now this one should be, it's, it's not class 10. Uh, even though it comes up when I search the SD cards, it came up, see it's class two. Class two will not run in your Pi. It's gonna be slow as hell. It'll take you forever to transfer things. They don't even show you the top of the SD card because they're that ashamed of it. They only show you the bottom. Wow. Um, you know, who knows what you're buying with that. This could be like a super old model or a counterfeit. You don't want it. Yet they're advertising it as, you know, new, genuine, you know, they're trying to make it good. Uh, that sucks. All right, here's another interesting one. And they get you in by the price because they're selling multiple items. They, see, they sell an OEM, one gig, no packaging. Like how, how enticing does that look, right? That's a total ripoff. Um, the other thing, this, this 64 might be okay, but you could, um, it's, first of all, it's, it's from Hong Kong. So it's not, it's not gonna have your own language in it. You're gonna have a really hard time doing any kind of warranty work on it. You're gonna be like, how did you get this? This isn't supposed to be distributed there. It may work. It may in the end work. Again, check the feedback. How's the feedback on this? So we go down here. Look at that. Rip off Sandus Extreme 93 Meg. Didn't work. Never trust the solder. Sell me fake blank. Uh, fake blank. Waste of money. Never arrived. 64 megabytes, not gigabytes. Can you imagine you're getting a 64 gigabyte and they send you a 64 megabyte? How angry would you be? I'd be furious. Uh, more, more of this stuff here. Um, look, they have OEM Evo card, not have logo. Oh, that's, I'm sure that's great. That's the fastest class 10 I've ever seen. They don't even say class 10, they say C10, right? What the heck is C10? Um, based on SD 2.0, like they try to hide things. And look at that, they have, like, it's not Christmas. It's not Christmas right now, guys. Anyways, uh, you click on the feedback, I already clicked it here. I had to scroll down a little bit because they also sell like fidget spinners and stuff. So I scrolled down to when I first saw the first SD card and it was right about here. Memory card was defective and it was only 7.2 gigabytes, not 32 gigabytes. Don't buy these. 
Like that should be your instant red flag. Run away. Run far away. Run as far. Just turn off your monitor and run because this is not for you. Don't waste your money here. Okay. So that's the end of the video. Um, if you want to test an SD card, you can test it by the read speeds and write speeds, and there's some programs there to do that. But I wanted to make this video to say, just think about it and, and spend the extra couple dollars, buy from a secure source, and you don't have to do any of that testing. You don't have to wonder if you got a good deal or not. Um, for sure, if you know what you're doing, you can possibly find good deals, maybe a wholesale lot, or somebody's trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff. But uh, another personal experience of mine is I did buy a 200 gigabyte SD card and it looked all good. The guy had like a cell phone store, he was liquidating, but I paid like 40 or like $50 for an SD card. The cool thing is when I got it, it was corrupted. It wouldn't ever hold a file. It would, it would freeze on me. I, I messaged the guy and I think he knew. He knew that he was selling somewhat defect, the defective products because he's like, oh yeah, it must be the controller board sorry about that here's your money back he let me keep the product he never asked me to return it and he gave me the money because he knew that he probably had a batch of duds on his hand that he was just trying to let go because you know if every five people don't say anything and then just accept the bad one this dude's still making money so that's why you know be really careful on ebay if you don't know what you're doing i hope you enjoy this video i hope it saves you some money some heartache you know, those always make the best videos for me is like when I get really upset and I'm really bothered by something that affected me because there's usually other people that it's affected as well. So I hope I can save some of you from it affecting you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one.